Good morning everyone. Today is our last morning in Rome and we are getting the train to Florence in about, oh, in about like two hours. Mm. Okay. Okay, half tens our checkout time. Um, <laughs> like 11. Yeah, yeah, it usually is. Um, so then we're going to get in the metro again to the train station and then get on the train, obviously. Um, at the end of yesterday's video you heard this one saying that apparently it's like 37 degrees or 38 degrees over there, so we're gonna die. <laughs> um, so yeah, I don't know how much I'm gonna film today. Depends if we're singing on the train as well. But yeah, this part might be quite short today, because I don't know what we're gonna do. <laughs> So we have arrived in Florence. Um, we didn't actually know what we were going to do here, um, but the lovely lady on the desk, I think she said her name was Nadia, I can't really remember, and um, she was very, very nice. Um, she gave us two maps and we've already lost one of them, which isn't great, but here's one of them. And she said to take photos, this is the best place to go because you can see the sunset and as it's risen up, you can see the whole of Florence. Um, our hotel's currently over here, so we're going to have to cross and get over there somehow. Um, and then there's a lot to do, like, in the centre, like, there's loads of churches and stuff. Which means we're going to have to end up covering up again, which gets very hot sometimes. And, oh my god, it's sweating. She said that in this, like, later this afternoon, it's going to reach, like, 42 degrees. <sighs> she said it's the hottest week they've, like, had <laughs> this year. I was like, lucky us. Um... But everyone we've encountered in the hotels has been really nice. But this is our hotel room. We've got twin beds. We have a shower in the bedroom and a sink and the bathroom's just outside. Um, don't really know what we're gonna do after this. I really need some, like a drink. So I think we should find a cafe, but I have a feeling Anna will wanna go to like a museum or something. Who knows? So we've made it to Florence and we are currently standing in some piazza, I'm not 100% sure, but look at this beautiful church. Oh, I don't think it's coming out as great as it is in real life. I know, it's so big, isn't it? But basically, our kind of like the manager of the hotel, Nadia, she was saying how how it looks beautiful outside, but <laughs> inside it's not as good because you expect it to be like so beautiful, like it is on the outside. But she said inside it's not that great. <laughs> so yeah, and you have to pay, and there's a long queue. So and I want some ice cream. We're at the Golden Gate. It might be a replica, apparently. <laughs> so, this guy is very big. There's a definite theme running here. Oh, that was very close to my head. the conclusion that there's too much to do in Florence um, and we've only got like one main full day here which is a little bit upsetting but like, look at all the lovely like artistic um, sculptures and stuff don't know who that is Dante 
Ali, Ali, who? Ali's Inferno. Oh, Dan Brown. mate. This one's obsessed with Dan Brown. With <laughs> films <laughs> and... Well, I don't even know. There's actually an Inferno um, sightsee tour, which we, she wanted to do, but we could have, because it's today and then not the other days that we're here, so... <laughs> you know? Can't do that. Where's Galileo? We're just coming out to the river. Where's, where's Galileo? Where? <laughs> I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. <laughs> easy come, easy go. Will you let him go? No. There he is, Galileo Galilee. His name is actually Galileo Galilee. Right. You're an idiot. What? So we're currently walking along a bridge and like all the shops on either side are all jewellery shops and um, oh, it's really big. Oh, yeah, no, oh, it's come back, it's come back, it's come back. <laughs> come on, go near her face again. I said it came back. I just walked up like a massive hill and I'm like sweating but we've got this beautiful view we tried to come when it was the sunset but we didn't really make it <laughs> And there's another statue over there of David. Another replica of David who has like massive hands. I think he has it this one. But this one might be in proportion. Oh yeah, that's great. It's a waterfall of chocolate. That's insane, it's a waterfall of chocolate. I feel like I feel like such a kid. Good morning, guys. We are currently in the Leonardo da Vinci Museum. Um, there's no one in this room, but I'm still trying to be a little bit quiet. Um, I'm in the like painting room at the moment. So we've got the Mona Lisa. This obviously isn't the real one. The real one's in Paris. Um, we are currently at the top of the bell tower, with, um, part, which is part of the duomo, um, and this is the view. We're currently on the second, no, third floor. Third floor? Second. Third. Third floor of the tower. And apparently there's another one up there. Um, 
I don't know how you would get up there, but then there is a sign. I don't know if I can walk up another, pair, another flight of steps. Guys, I think this just might be the best pizza I'm going to eat. And this one's got chicken and chips. Who's got the camera? The shiny. Oh, okay. Shop and Anna's found her new favourite toy. I like um, Rapunzel. My favourite was always Belle when I was younger though. What are these? These are just so cute. Look! Oh, look at it! Get one for Carrie Hope Fletcher. Oh, they're all just so cute! We're back at the hotel now and me and Anna just went out for like a little bit of shopping. Uh, we went back to the piazza that we were at last night which had the uh, carousel because <laughs> there was like a it was like a shopping area so we went there um, as Anna wanted to go in the Disney store. I wanted to go in Kiko because well it's a makeup shop and how how could I resist going into a makeup ship? And it was like 50% off as well so. so I did pick up a couple of things. I only got two items. Um, trust me, I would have got so much more, but, you know, can't bring it all back home, unfortunately. There's just, like, no space, and I didn't want to spend too much, but it was too good an opportunity to miss. So, the items I did get, I got this eyeshadow, mono eyeshadow, and it's, you can't really see the colour, but it's kind of like a pinky colour, and it's a shimmery, it's a shimmer, and, um, it's number... 221. Um, I think this was either 140 or 290. I can't really work it out on the receipt. Um, but they had some for one one euro forty or some for 290, so that was one of them. And then I also got um, the Velvet Touch Creamy Stick Blush in the shade 02, and um, just a pinky colour. I'll show it to you. And this was 390 down from like something I think um, so that's the colour I'm gonna wear it tonight 
Um, I don't really know how to apply stick blushes, but I've always wanted to try one out, which is why I bought it. Um, so I will let you know how it goes. We're off for dinner now, and guess what? We both have the same lipstick on because she stole my one. vlogging food when people are sitting very close to you um, but we did go on the carousel gang because I like that that was fun and we are off to Pisa tomorrow we're not too sure what time train we're gonna get because we didn't have to pre-book it so yeah this is our last night in Florence then we spend one night in Pisa and then we fly home so we've nearly finished our tour of Italy and I congratulate you if you have watched these videos because with the footage I've been filming they could be quite long <laughs> so if you've made it this far give, you, give it a thumbs up and I will see you tomorrow good night <laughs>